Welcome to this video on the nervous system. Take a look at the key words we'll use in this video. So the nervous system is really important. It's the way the body sends messages to and from different parts of the body. There are two parts, the central nervous system, which is made up of the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which is made up of all the other neurons in the body. So let's look at how the nervous system works. It begins with a stimulus, which is interpreted by our senses. So in this diagram, the stimulus is a snake, which is seen by our eye. This information is sent to our sensory neurons, which is then passed on to the relay neuron in our brain and spinal cord. The impulse is then passed on to motor neurons, which are connected to effectors to trigger a response, so a muscle or a gland. In this diagram, the motor neuron tells our muscles to run away from the dangerous snake. So the first neuron we'll look at in detail is the sensory neuron. Sensory neurons carry impulses from receptors to other neurons. Receptors are just our senses, so the parts of body that can receive information from our surroundings. The neuron has a dendron and an axon, as well as dendrites and axon terminals, which are parts at the very end of the neuron. It's important to know that all sensory neurons are in the peripheral nervous system. The red arrow shows the direction that the impulse is travelling in, which is always towards the axon terminals. Motor neurons also have an axon, however they have no dendron. Instead, the dendrites are directly on the cell body. It still has axon terminals at the end of the neuron. Motor neurons carry impulses to effectors, so the muscles or glands. Relay neurons are short neurons found in the brain and spinal cord, linking sensory and motor neurons together. Just like the motor neuron, they have no dendron and are made up of an axon, dendrites on the cell body and axon terminals. Between neurons there are tiny gaps which are around 20 nanometers wide. This is called a synapse and is where a chemical called a neurotransmitter can diffuse across. The impulse reaches an axon terminal where this neurotransmitter is released and diffuses into the synapse. Only axon terminals can release neurotransmitters so the impulse carries on going in the same direction. The neurotransmitter diffuses across to the next neuron where it's detected and a new impulse is generated by this neuron, meaning the impulse never loses strength. 